What is going on? Diamond Rice here coming at you with a comparison video. Now this one's for the NVNC export versus the H.264 encoder that you see on, on the standard uh, Adobe Premiere. Now the difference is there is another version of this NVNC particular GPU and uh, what you're seeing is version 1.12 as you see on screen right now. I am currently using a older version that was made back in like 2013 but the version itself is 1.1. Uh, 1.11 J3 is the current one I'm currently using. I decided to use the 1.12 to see if it, what, what was the major difference between the two of them, but I haven't seen one yet. So let's cue the benchmarks. So, as you can see by the benchmarks, it seems as though that the NVNC export, especially for 1.11 J3, is more optimized for my particular taste of videos. Now, obviously this NVNC export will be faster if you have more uh, stuff that's going on and how much more editing that you did on the actual, uh, like, you know, graphics, you did maybe some video effects. If you add most of those inside the actual encoder, it will actually do, it will do an export faster of those compared to what you would do with the standard H.264. Now, the thing is with this, is the quality loss is could be substantial inside of the GPU encoder of uh, of the NVNC, but you have to play around with the actual settings inside of Adobe Premiere and the uh, the export settings. Basically, you have to you have to figure those out to see which one fits your style and see if it actually is faster. In my case, it is actually faster to export in NVNC uh, due to the edits that I do to my videos that are very simple. It's not it's like I I don't do any complicated edits to these videos. I just like doing them for the basis of more for helping and more for you know more for helping and just more just towards uh, having more of the gameplay showing up and such but uh, that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this little comparison video of mine it shows that the GPU encoder is actually faster in certain situations in my case it is faster in my or my exports but your results may vary on yours it could be faster than the standard H.264 I'm just uh, it depends on the quality that you would like to see how much of a loss you may see or whatnot but remember this is a beta software this is pretty much considered that if you let's say break something on this particular plugin or Adobe Premiere doesn't work or whatnot you might have you might run into issues might run into quality loss that's even better than that maybe pixelation hope you guys enjoy if you have any problems let me know I'll help you guys out if I if possible so I'll see you guys in the next video later